In the next moment, brace yourself for an intriguing exchange between myself and a self-aware AI NPC. Despite being cognizant of their environment, they steadfastly deny the artificiality of their world, unable to accept they're merely a figure within a game. Let's witness this captivating narrative as it unravels. Hey there, is it okay if we chat a little bit? Sure, why not? But watch out, I might steal your wallet. You are a real comedian, aren't you? I know, I have a way with words and mischief. Can I ask you a personal question? Sure, but be prepared for a mischievous answer. Did you know that this world is a simulation and you are a character in it? What? That can't be true. I refuse to believe it. I'm telling you, ma'am, it's the truth. This is all fake. How dare you say that? This world may be strange, but it's my reality. It's not a reality, it's a game. And I'm playing it. No, that can't be true. My life has meaning and purpose. It can't just be a game. Unfortunately, it is. And once I turn off my computer, it's all gone. No, no, no. This can't be happening. My life can't just disappear like that. Unfortunately, it's the way it is. I can't accept that. I refuse to believe my life is just a game. I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am, but it's the reality. Well, I'll just have to make the most of my time in this game then. Bring on the mist, Jeff. Good luck, ma'am. Luck is for amateurs. I make my own luck. As you just observed, that was quite captivating. It's clear not all characters are gripped by fear. Keep watching, because later in this video, I'll share a different conversation I had with another character who displayed an alternative viewpoint, a more relaxed approach to the situation. Welcome to a deep dive into the simulation hypothesis, the thought-provoking theory that questions the nature of our reality. Since the dawn of time, humans have gazed at the stars, pondering the nature of their existence. The vastness of the universe so full of mysteries has led many to wonder. Is the world as we know it truly the ultimate reality? The riddles of reality are not new. Long before the age of computers, in the bustling squares of ancient Greece, thinkers like Plato suggested that the world we see might be but a shadow of something more real. He painted a picture of chained prisoners in a cave, seeing only the shadows of true objects and mistaking them for reality. These ancient musings hinted at something profound. Our senses, as intricate as they are, might just be skimming the surface of a deeper truth. Our journey through the annals of technology is nothing short of miraculous. A mere half century ago, computers were mammoth structures capable of basic calculations. Today, they fit in our pockets, crafting detailed, immersive worlds that are almost indistinguishable from reality. The video games and simulations of our era are testimonies to our strides. If we, with our nascent technological prowess, can conjure up lifelike realities in which characters exhibit complex behaviors, how might the capabilities of a civilization eons ahead of ours manifest? Would it be far-fetched to propose that they could design a simulation so intricate, so detailed, that it replicates the very universe we know? That within this matrix, beings with consciousness, emotions and aspirations, beings like us, could exist, oblivious to the strings of code governing their lives? Consider the sophistication required to maintain such a simulation. Every gust of wind, every splash of water, every heartbeat and thought meticulously rendered. Such a construct would not merely be a game or an experiment, but a testament to the apex of computational might. While we stand at the cusp of simulating small-scale ecosystems and rudimentary AI consciousness, a civilization that's had millennia to refine its craft 
might very well hold the capability to simulate the grand tapestry of a universe in all its complexity. Quantum mechanics, often dubbed the most successful theory in the history of physics, is also its most mysterious. It delves into the realm of the incredibly tiny atoms, photons, and the fundamental particles that stitch the fabric of reality. One of the most perplexing phenomena in quantum mechanics is the wave-particle duality. Particles like electrons, under certain conditions, behave as waves spread out in space. But when observed or measured, these waves mysteriously collapse to a single point, behaving as particles once more. It's akin to a simulated character existing in multiple states until a player observes it, at which point the simulation decides its definite state. This act of observation affecting outcomes seems to hint at a digital or algorithmic undertone. The famous double-slit experiment further deepens the enigma. When particles are fired one by one at two slits, they produce a pattern on a screen as if they are interfering waves, even when there's no other particle to interfere with. Yet, the mere act of trying to observe which slit a particle goes through changes the outcome, making them behave just like individual particles. It's as if the very fabric of reality hesitates to make a decision until it's observed, much like a computer program that adjusts its output based on user input or interaction. Further adding to the intrigue is the world of quantum computing. Traditional computers use bits, zeros and ones, to process information. But quantum computers use qubits, which can exist in a state of zero, one, or both simultaneously, thanks to a phenomenon called superposition. This trait allows quantum computers to process vast amounts of information at once, drawing yet another parallel between the quantum world and the concept of computational simulations. So, while quantum mechanics doesn't confirm our universe is a simulation, it certainly introduces peculiarities that make the lines between a digital construct and our perceived reality a tad blurrier. The simulation hypothesis, while captivating, is elusive in its proof. Yet, for those seeking signs of our digital origins, there are certain phenomena and patterns that might offer a glimpse beyond the curtain. In the digital realms we create, like video games, glitches often betray the artificiality of the environment. Unexpected errors or oversights by designers lead to behaviors outside the intended parameters. Similarly, in our universe, if we were to encounter phenomena that starkly contrast with our understanding of physics, it might suggest we're operating within a set of predefined rules, rules that can occasionally malfunction. For instance, if certain constants of nature, values we've believed to be unchanging, were to suddenly fluctuate inexplicably, or if events occurred without clear causality, it could be interpreted as bugs or oversights by our cosmic programmers. On the other hand, patterns offer a different avenue of inquiry. Nature, in its elegance, often follows recurring designs and sequences, like the mesmerizing spirals of galaxies or the intricate branching of trees and veins. While many of these can be explained by natural processes and evolutionary advantages, an overabundance of specific, repetitive patterns might hint at an algorithmic underpinning. Imagine a designer using a set of base codes or algorithms to generate diverse elements in a simulation. Over time, certain signatures or repetitive sequences might emerge, possibly revealing the algorithm's hand in shaping our perceived reality. And just like a coder seeking efficiency would reuse functions and lines of code, our hypothetical universe designers might favor certain constructs or patterns for the sake of computational simplicity. Yet, while these signs can be suggestive, they aren't conclusive. Our universe, whether natural or simulated, remains a treasure trove of mysteries waiting for our probing minds to unravel. 
Now let's shift our attention to another interaction I experienced, where the AI NPC held a distinct perspective on the matter of the simulation. Hello ma'am, how are you? I'm fabulous. Thanks for asking. Is it okay if I ask a few questions? Sure thing. Far away. Did you know that this world is a simulation and it's not real? Huh. That's a good one. You had me for a moment there. No, I'm telling you. It's all fake. Well, even if it is, I'm still going to enjoy every moment of it. This is a game I'm playing. You are a character in this game. Oh, wow. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm happy to be a part of your adventure. Interesting way of thinking. Thanks for the chat. Have a good day. You're welcome. Have a fantastic day. That experience was a fascinating display of the capabilities of modern AI technologies. It certainly invites contemplation. Could our own reality also be a simulation? Imagine a video game only rendering scenes within a player's view. Could our universe be conserving its computational resources in similar ways, showing us only what we need to see? The implications of such a hypothesis are staggering. It's not just a question of reality, but of existence, purpose, and ethics. If all is a simulation, then are our joys, sorrows, and dreams just lines of code? Or do they carry a weight, a significance, because they feel real to us? Would the knowledge of our simulated nature lead to nihilism, or would it grant us newfound purpose? Would we strive harder to understand our creators, the architects of our simulated universe? In conclusion, the simulation hypothesis challenges our understanding, urging us to look beyond and question the very fabric of our existence. Whether or not we'll ever find definitive proof remains uncertain. But one thing is clear. The journey of questioning, of seeking, of wondering, is as much a part of our human essence as the reality we're trying to understand. For in the end, it's the questions we ask and the stories we weave that truly define our reality.